Good morning, Mets fans, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met. It is Tuesday, March the 3rd, and on today's show, I'm going to talk a little bit about the starting pitching that the Mets have in camp, going over a few of the uh, the newfound problems, uh, not really problems, but newfound um, conditions that the Mets find themselves in with uh, fifth starter, sixth starter stuff. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that on today's show. Coming off of last season where the Mets had a five-man rotation that included Zach Wheeler, the now departed Zach Wheeler, Philadelphia Phillies starter Zach Wheeler, um, the Mets knew they were going to have a hole to fill in 2020's rotation. And going into the offseason, we knew that the Mets had four starters slotted for the rotation. Of course, DeGrom in the top spot, um, Stroman, Syndergaard uh, in the 2-3 or 3-2, whichever direction you want to go with that. And uh, incumbent left-handing, left-hander Steven Matz, uh, leaving one spot open. And the Mets did, uh, did some work bringing in... Uh, Michael Walker to take that fifth spot in the rotation and as we all know um, Walker was told and the deal that he signed was incentive laden uh, as a starting pitcher uh, Waka was told he'd be a starter the uh, incentives all sort of lean toward innings pitched and starts and whatnot and then uh, like four days later the Mets went and signed Rick Porcello so what that ended up Um, creating was a a position where the Mets now have six starting pitchers uh, for a five-man rotation. And I don't want to uh, get into the, maybe they're going to go with the six-man route. Um, I've I've heard rumors about um, maybe the Mets employing an opener in in one of those starts and uh, or piggybacking Mats and Waka together. Um, But I, I find the whole thing a little bit troubling because there's been rumors that Steven Matz might end up in the bullpen. And the reason I'm troubled by that is that if they they go that route, the Mets end up with a rotation of five right-handed pitchers. They have no left-handed starters. Now, it's not the end of the world, of course, but Steven Matz had a nice season last year. He's actually coming off of two decent years. Um, last year, he was a, at worst, league average starter. Um, he hit career highs in innings pitched stayed healthy the whole season, made 31 or 32 starts uh, in 2019. And the thanks that he gets for that is uh, you might not have a job next year, (laughs) Uh, which is, which is, you know, it's like I said, it's a little bit troubling because Matt's is a homegrown guy. Um, He's shown that he's a talented pitcher. Um, He of course pitched better at home than he did on the road. Um, But Matz should be the fourth starter. There, for me, there's just no question about it. Steven Matz is the fourth starter on this team. And bringing in Waka slash Porcello, it should have been a battle between those two for uh, the, the fifth spot in the rotation, in my opinion. And now we're hearing that it's actually Porcello that's got the fourth starter spot locked down and that the battle is going to be between Matz and Waka. And if you listen to what the guys have been saying in their their spring training interviews with with Gelbs and with others, um, they're all talking like, "Well, I'm I'm a starting pitcher. I'm not I'm not pitching out of the bullpen." Um, and of course, that's what they say. But you know, it it, it it's troubling. That's the only word I can think of for this. And uh, I I do think that Porcello is going to be fine. Um, But again, I think that that Matt should be the fourth starter. There should be no question about it. I know that Porcello has a Cy Young on his resume. That's wonderful. That was four years ago, 2016, uh, where he won it with the Red Sox. And he's coming off uh, one of the worst seasons that that he's ever had, certainly. And um, he's got to prove himself for for this coming season. And proving himself shouldn't be, here's a guaranteed fourth starter spot for you. Especially not when, as I said, the incumbent, Stephen Matz, uh, was your your fourth starter last year. <laughs> you know, And he did get slotted back into the fifth spot when the Mets traded for Marcus Stroman and moved Jason Vargas to the Phillies. But um, 
Mats is a, is a fourth starter, in my opinion, and that's where he should be. So the real question then becomes, what do the Mets do between Porcello and Waka for the fifth spot? Um, historically and career-wise, Waka does not have great numbers out of the bullpen. Um, on the contrary, Porcello is as durable as pitchers get. He's going to almost be guaranteed to make 30 starts for you. They might not all be great, but he's going to be on the mound every fifth day. Um, at least that's what his career norm shows. Now, we all know, of course, that once someone comes to the Mets, those career norms get thrown out the window. If you recall, Todd Frazier never spent a day on the, the disabled slash injured list until he became a New York Met, and then he spent a good chunk of time there. Uh, Robbie Cano, before becoming a Met, um, was known to be very durable, never spending time on the injured list. Uh, he was suspended, of course, but not injured. What happened last year? Cano was injured. Bad luck, probably, whatever, but it is what it is. Uh, that being said, um, if you look at what the guys are doing in the spring, um, between the three of them, Porcello, Mats, and Waka, all three of them have pitched very well. Now, I've, I've repeatedly said spring numbers mean nothing, and I stand by that, but when you're trying to make a decision like the Mets have to make with the fifth starter spot, um, you have to sort of look at spring training numbers and use those as a tool to say you're in, you're out. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. The Mets do have three weeks of spring training left, so the guys should get uh, three to four more starts as they stretch out prior to opening day. And, of course, in the first two weeks of the season, the Mets do not need a fifth starter. Um, but it's it's still a decision that's looming. And it might be a, uh, a difficult decision for somebody to stomach, considering that Brody Van Wagenen has promised all of these guys to be starters. Um, my, my personal opinion is that uh, Matt should be the fourth starter, Porcello the fifth, and, um, and Michael Waka should be the swing man and long man out of the bullpen. Um, that seems to make the most sense. Uh, Waka's injury history, um, he's been on and off over the last few seasons, and maybe he finds something if he becomes a bullpen arm. Uh, we don't know that, of course, but that's the way it would break down for me. Uh, my big concern is what does this do to the morale of one of or more of these guys? You know, the, I, I can't imagine that Steven Matz, out of all three of them, feels real great right now, considering that he's coming off, like I said, the best year of his career uh, last season, uh, most complete year of his career last season, and now he's heading into this season competing for a job. Um, that's a tough pill to swallow uh, for anybody. So, um, what do you guys think? Do you think that uh, do you think that it should be uh, it should be Matt's spot to lose? Um, should it even be a competition? Should Matt's be out of the mix and and in the in the fourth starter spot, and the competition be between the newbies Porcello and Waka? Let me know in the comments below on YouTube, or you can send me a tweet uh, at Mister Underscore Met on the Twitter machine. Um, I appreciate your watching today's show. Thanks very much. I will be back um, tomorrow to uh, talk more about um, the pending opening day and what that looks like for the Mets. Um, but until then, again, thanks for watching. And as always, let's go Mets.